yes i don't think that i'm going to get another question concerning with these extended temporary dreadlocks because now like in this video i would like at least to tell you everything that you will need to know so please i want you to give me your attention so that at least there's no any other question concerning with these extended dreadlocks because we have been doing it for a couple of uh, uh, yeah i can say years because yes it is what we have been doing so please give me your time morris the crochet master all right yes my name is morris the crochet master and i work at hair by clippers yes i work at hair by clippers to so those ones who want us to lock your hair please just search for hair by clippers with z you will get me there so today i don't think there is going to be another question concerning about these extended dreadlocks and that those ones who have been having a question please i just want to watch this video maybe uh, your questions will be solved because i'm going to try to explain at least most of those things that you didn't know about these extended dreadlocks so uh, i got this kind of a client when her hair has got all this volume it is you can see it is really really thick and uh, when it comes to dreadlocks well like when you find the hair is this thick and uh, it is natural you'll just thank god because you uh, automatically uh, your dreadlock your dreadlocks will have to look beautiful i told you these are temporarily dreadlocks so like any time you feel you can remove it you have to do it and you remain with your hair yes i repeat it you can always remove this hair and you remain with your hair so there is no way of cutting your hair uh, as you're, you are doing these extended dreadlocks so yeah number one people have uh, been asking me what the what is this gel that i always use yes i use the molding gel and um uh i think there's some other gel apart from the echo gel because yeah you need something that is uh that have works in it yes so that you can hold this uh, dread very firm so number one what i wanted to explain is that whenever sorry whenever we are locking these extended dreadlocks most especially in front here please please try to make sure your uh, your lines like the first line is in rectangular format that one is number one and i i hope you're going to be seeing like after the the the, the after the um, the the finishing point you will see what i was trying to mean so it is supposed to be in a rectangular format you know we have been having those problems like mostly those people had already made their natural dreadlocks you find like the arrangement was very bad and now they're suffering like they do want their dreads to look smart and they fail it is just because of the arrangement so uh, uh you should always know how to arrange them very very nicely so that even the person who is going to stay with those dreads can love them in t um when when styling and even uh, when leaving it free so or uh, if you maintain that rectangular format like mostly on the first line in front and then here in the middle i always tell you it is hard to locate in a box format if it is in the box format it might be hard for you to lock it so that's why the rectangular format is always very nice because uh, when it holds it when you lock it you can always lock one so rectangular format is very very important then another thing is that you should always lock it once mostly like these people with 
uh, with thick hair trust me now you can see how it it looks like it's really really on the scalp and i told you we always have to leave an a quarter inch you can see now this one i've just finished you can see there is some uh there's some space uh, uh there's that space that i always leave when uh, that i know it is going to be for the extension when i've added the extension so uh, to those ones who have been doing like uh, those ones who have been having this habit of doing the cross locking one day you're going to get hair like this one that is very thick and you try to do that uh, cross locking that is when you lock from side and up that is going to be painful and those are the things that we always have to um we always have to uh, let them happen like to pain someone when it comes to these dreadlocks but where the pain comes from it is from the beginning of the locking if you lock it very tight it means after adding on the extension it will also have to pain someone so like mostly when you're going to lock it the second time when the extension is there so that's why i always advise you guys to uh, leave that quarter inch as you're locking so that it helps you when you're doing uh, the locking for the second time when the extension is there so that is the, uh, also so another thing is that uh, those ones who have been using the extension remember i've been explaining i explained this on some previous video those ones who are using the um the extend the, the the extensions you know those dread extension they come on like when they're on the same size most of the most of those extend uh, the, the the dreads that that uh, ex the extension okay sorry the dreads this one they just do as extensions they're always equal like in size you understand but the problem here is that you find someone's hair is not equal like in the volume you would find like in front it is somehow weak and maybe in the in the middle it is um it is strong but now when you're having these uh uh dreads extensions it means you just have to be very careful mostly when it comes to in front that's why i always want to explain this that people should be profession uh, most of the times so it means if i keep doing this same um, size of locking and i'm going to use the other dreads that uh the the, the, the dreads with extensions um it means if i add them like in front it might be it might not look good so that's why we always um for us we just do it from the head like then then so it means if i lock uh, uh if i lock some hair like maybe like in front when i lock uh, uh somewhere and i see like they're soft the the extension that i would have put uh, I change it so I might do it like in a small size so that it can hold it can stay there firm without breaking the hair so like most people have been asking me like they do dreadlocks but after it breaks their hair that is the only reason the only reason would be that uh, one they might be doing the the, 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 the locking at the beginning when it is too tight and then you find like it's painful after when they have plated you but with this one it is different so if you feel that pain it means somehow somewhere there is some stretching like strain in the hair so uh, then others it comes when you're doing the uh, the repair those ones who always do some others call them retouch those ones who do the repair it is also sometimes making your dreads to break uh, because um, whenever you're going to do the repair it it 
like it needs someone to be professional enough like to see your hair like how long you have been with it some of you you have uh, uh you stay with the, the dreadlocks with the extension like for three months and you find the extension is very far from the hair like maybe it's like uh like two inch and the remaining uh is your hair from the root so and uh, then after you find someone who is going to do you repair is just locking the hair you understand others are just adding the extension but uh sometimes it is wrong yes uh, what we always advise is that um uh, you just have to unplate like maybe the front hair that have that would have been moved you just have to uh, remove them and then you lock them again so that it starts from down from the root so those are the things most of the times that makes your hair uh, breaks uh, makes your hair break uh, just because of the dreadlocks and then when it comes to these extension like those ones who always do the dreads with the extension I would advise, uh, and I know most of you guys, most of you, you always like to pack in front, yes. But the problem is those ones who use the dread extensions is that when you overpack in front, sometimes you don't know the volume of the other extension how it is with your uh, weak hairline in front. So if they just add it on on your hairline, trust me, it will have to break. So those are the things that you need to know mostly before doing these kind of these kind of dreadlocks. Yes, um, uh, and those ones who keep on asking why when they do dreadlocks they break their hair or maybe they're painful. Like those are the things that happen. So you should always be very very careful when it comes to that. I'm gonna be putting some uh, I'm gonna um, apply some the links of the vid uh, the videos where you can see how to unlock these dreadlocks and even those one that are more detailed uh, yes so that you can also learn to lock this but um, uh, when you're locking now here you just have to make sure that your hook is in the middle is in the middle so that it can come out this nicely so you can see when it is uh it, when you're locking it really looks a uh, very very nice and soft and without pain so after all that we just have to add the anti-itchy because we know this person is going to stay with the dreads with the dreads for a long time so we just have to add on this to work for them yes so if you still really have any other question I would want a question that is not going to be uh, like maybe on the things that I've already explained. So let's try to look at on those questions that you would ask about these dreadlocks and then I'll be there to answer you. My name is Maurice the Crochet Master and I work at Hair by Clippers. So this is what I got for you. These are the extended dreadlocks and it is temporary yes it is temporary anytime you want you can always remove i'm gonna be signing out but remember we always upload videos every week so please make sure you click on the red button you subscribe so that we can stay together learning all these bye bye see you in the next video merry christmas and happy new year